by the stand, man. The stand shocks me, man. What's going on? Is is uh, your fisherman turning up tonight? Is who? Fisherman. Oh, fisherman. I don't know fisherman in the building, man. <laughs> <laughs> Your stream was taken down on YouTube, I gather. Oh, the other day? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, I got it back up. It's back up now. This stream is back up. <laughs> it's amazing. I, I can't believe that the, the, the rubbish he's spouting. Uh, we, we agree on so much, you know, he doesn't he doesn't know who I am. Mm. You call fishermen starting rubbish. Okay. Well, I mean, he hates the juice crew, man. I mean, well, come on. No, I mean, if you, he hates the juice crew, so it's like, he, if he hates the juice crew, I mean, you can't, you can't cure that, man. They've tried to cure people of juice crew hatred before, man, and it's just no cure for that, man. When somebody hates the juice crew, man, it's, it's in your bones, man. We agree, we agree on a lot, but it isn't juice per se. Um, my, my first book was published in 1994. It's about a bloke named, well, Ray Hill, who was um, an Asian provocateur working in the far right, working for the most evil Jew in Britain, a bloke named Jerry Gable. I sued Gable for defamation twice. And I've also written two books, two full length books on the forbidden subject. And Fisherman, all he said is. <coughs> He said the forbidden subject. So, man, you got to put your put a link. Send send me the link to your book so I can um look at it. Yeah, yeah. He, all he said basically is that this guy's a, a, a mad kike. <laughs> Which, wow. I mean, just just well, you know, I don't think these people either. You know, you like you know Sam, you know Simon um Webb. Who? Simon Webb. Yeah, um, he's not a great fan of mine. I, I, oh, he, you don't get along with Simon Webb? Well, he's a, he's a Zionist apologist. Oh, wow. Uh, he, he published he, 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 one of his videos the other week about, uh, he, he was in Israel for on holiday with his wife. I published an article about him uh, called um, Simon Webb from Real History to Zionist Apologetics. Oh, wow. I had no idea, man. Um, salute. What's up, Fabian, man? Hey, how's it going? A fave meister in the building. I'll probably, I'm, I just wanted to uh, come in real quick. I have to uh, go off uh, and run an errand in a little bit, and I'll pop back on okay. if you're still on later. All right. Yeah, what's uh, what's on the menu? Um, just um, Black and Zidane Zoo, man. Um, got <laughs> um, South good. Africa 2.0. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, you missed the shows on South Africa. We did a couple shows. Oh, you did? Okay, yeah, I'll have to look last, back. Mm. Yeah, the last two shows, um, I would say Sunday and Saturday. Oh man! All right, I got to catch yeah. up. Yeah, we 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 um we started the show on Sunday about South Africa. We ended the show on Saturday about South Africa. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I'll I'll have a look then. Yeah. Um, well, did you? Uh, so, were you making any comparisons? Were you making any predictions? Because uh, I mean, a lot of people say that. South Africa is kind of a model of where they're trying to push race relations in the U.S., you know? Well, I mean, it can't get there. It can't get there. Yeah, it's a different um, different context, but... Different dynamic and different history. But, I mean, you you're, you yourself often claim to be surprised <laughs> at the lengths to which the situation is seems able to go, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, listen, I'm a son, man. I've contributed, I've, I've participated in a lot of sun behavior, man. I've actually done sun things, you know what I'm saying? I've actually been a sun team. I've actually, you know, been in these programs, actually one of the kids in the program, you know what I'm saying? So oh, yeah. I, I'm a I'm a sun man through and through. Yeah. And it's like you it's 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 hard to believe like God damn like there's there's absolutely no solution. And um, the only thing you can do is be happy and take make the best of your life in this um, great country that you live in and 
live good and be happy and not like whine and complain about racism all day because you're missing your blessing. You're living a better life than 99% of all sudden men in the history of the world. Well, yeah, I mean, if that message was a, a common one in the mainstream, I think that people would sort of behave that way, but people are incentivized by getting different kinds of messaging, you know? Yeah, but it's like, I'm because you, you, you're, missing the, you're missing your blessing. Like, this is, there will be no way we have any of this stuff, not even the wheel. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, you're not supposed to know that. But what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is that people are told that their blessing comes from making the complaint. Right. It's incentivized. You get rewards for it, and so they follow the the trail of that reward. So yeah, it's, it doesn't have anything to do with reality. It's just you know manipulation. Salute to short bus driver. Short bus driver says somebody get Aka website with a forum and such anything besides facebook or whatever an ox specific site we can all congregate